play me, friends. Wake up, samurai, because today we're talking about cyberpunk. Specifically, the one and only DLC that will be coming out for the game Phantom Liberty, which will be coming out on September 26. If you kept up with the news regarding cyberpunk, you'll know that it had a very rocky start when it first launched, in that it was basically unplayable. In fact, Cyberpunk was the last game I ever pre-ordered, mainly because of the state it was in, and after playing it for about 30 minutes after release, I put it away because it was just unplayable for me on my console. It wasn't until probably a year after its release that I finally tried it once again, after the game had gotten several updates. And, yeah, I fell in love. So, despite all its flaws, I'm really excited to talk about this update and what all it has in store for us. But before we go full cyber psycho over the news, please consider liking and subscribing if you want to stay up to date on all the latest news and reviews in gaming and entertainment. Now then, let's get on to the show. Starting off with the story, quite a bit dropped about the quasi-spy thriller where we are tasked with saving the president of the MUSA and working with shadowy figures to accomplish this. Well, I'm of course interested in the story content that this will offer, what I'm most intrigued by is the promise of a new ending. For those of you who have played it, you know there's no real happy endings in Night City. Some are happier than others, but every choice carries a weight of death to it. So, I'm curious what this one will entail. Is it possible that we can truly be saved? I'm certainly hoping so, but we'll have to wait and see. There's gotta be a way out of this. Johnny. I'm dying. There's nothing can stop that. Another update is in regards to the cyberware. Due to the absolute critical acclaim of Edge Runner's anime, it looks as if they are taking a deeper look into cyber psychosis. Apparently, depending on your build, there will be a limit to the cyberware you can actually install or risk going cyber psycho yourself. No word on what this entails yet, whether it is simply a limit that is placed and you can't go over it, or if it will be more like the anime where you can wear more but might constantly have to take boosters to keep yourself safe. Also, no telling what will happen if you go psycho. Is that just game over? Will you get taken down by Max Tech? Which is a real possibility now as they are promising a revamped police system, making them more resilient, more capable, and yes, having Max Tech swoop down to deal with the truly lethal threats like our one-person army V. I'm interested to see how this ends up working, because while I do have my girl fairly chromed out, there's also a lot that I have on there that is mainly just because I can. So I wouldn't mind getting rid of a few parts, but I'm curious to see how they handle this, as it could either add more to the game by giving you a risk-reward factor, or hurt it by just taking stuff away without really anything to make up for what was lost. In addition to this, they're also revamping the way that skills work. It seems that instead of flat bonuses, they're now going to do things like unlock unique abilities, finishers, and other things that we can utilize instead. I'm really hoping that with this, we get a way to fully respect our characters. I know that we can refund the points, but I also really like to be able to refund the attributes as well, especially since they are changing the way the perks and skills work, plus adding an additional skill tree known as the Relic, which not much is known about yet. All in all, a lot is changing in Cyberpunk, and I'm excited for the prospect of what all this entails, but also cautious about it as well. This sounds a little closer to the vision that CDPR originally had for the Cyberpunk game at launch, and if so, I'm all here for it. Like I said, I've fallen in love with the world they've made, and it's one of the few games that I actually enjoy creating a new character and just going through the story again as well as just walking around and enjoying the world that they've made. It really is just a beautiful place to explore, and there's normally something around every corner for you. My hope is that what they strive for is just to make the world more engaging. There are hints of what they tried and wanted to do, but never fully realizing the base game. So hopefully we'll see more of their vision going forward. However, I'm going to reserve judgment for after the DLC is actually out. While well, I do have hope for this and do believe that CDPR will want to put out something amazing given their track record and them wanting to make up for the initial failure of Cyberpunk, you know the old saying, once bitten, twice shy. That's all I've got for now, guys. Just want to touch base about a game I love and something I am really excited about. Did you ever give Cyberpunk a try? If so, what were your thoughts and what are your thoughts on the upcoming DLC? Until next time, guys. Bye!